But AMC will run a bit with Jamie. It's a hedge. I bought AMC a while ago. I'm still sitting on it. Yeah, but but here's here's the thing, right? Like the, the fucking people that are always they always say this. They're like, oh, AMC and Jamie are gonna run together, right? And and we know that just just with without any other information, without you know the CEO cannibalizing his own corporation and selling shares, the value of the shares out from the shareholders under the shareholders, you know, ignore all that. And let's just talk about the fucking size of AMC's float. They have 500 million shares versus 62.6, right? You know, if, if they're going to run together, then it doesn't matter which one you own at the fucking bottom, does it? So when people are like, oh, I'm waiting for AMC to run before I move to GME, but they're going to run together, like, it, it doesn't matter, right? And and the, the risk there is that AMC gets fucking rug pulled because of their massive, Citadel's massive long position in it, right? And this goes down while GME gaps up. And then now you've got to make up this price difference when you switch. Like, it, it just doesn't make any sense to be like, oh, I'll wait for the run and then move over. Like, move over now. What the fuck difference does it make? <clears throat> like, one, even, even just from a value investment standpoint, one company's fucking worthless and saddled with debt, and the other one, you know, potentially has a future. <clears throat> and when 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 AMC's debt comes due in January, and they're allowed to release more shares, whew, I would not want to be holding that stock. Exercising my call to clip it. All right, fine.